Hey folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back. And oh man, we're down in the land of grills. Folks, we're going to do a burn-in today on a, uh, on a pellet grill. And you're going to say, what's a burn-in? Burn-in is when you get a new grill, such as a pellet grill. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to get it prepped and ready to go. And we're going to burn out anything that would be in there. If there's any oils from manufacturing in there. And this will also give you an opportunity to make sure everything works right. So we're going to put pellets in this for the first time. We're going to show you how we're going to prime the auger. Uh, and then we're going to do a burn it and put it through its paces to see how that PID works. So uh, this is an exciting moment, folks. Let's keep on going at it. All right, folks, most people would say the first thing you should do is put pellets in. And I've got the Z-Grills wood pellets, uh, this 100% oak pellet. I've used their pellets before, and they're not bad. A lot of other pellets on the market, you can use whatever you want. But uh, if you're if you're curious what works well, the, the wood pellets from uh, Z-Grills does work well. Now, you're, you would think that would be the first thing you need to do would be to open up and put some pellets in but actually the first thing you want to do is you want to take everything out check for any foreign or foreign debris or anything like that that's in there we're going to want to we got it plugged in we're going to turn it on and then you see it goes it's what it's saying is a select so then we're going to take our controller here you see that dot and we're going to put that on the smoke cycle now you can hear first of all you're seeing a lot of things here and you're curious what all this is you can hear a fan running and we're going to check that in a second. You can see the temp, temp is running. It's saying that the, the, the actual temperature is 60 degrees. And it gets that from that temp probe right there. You can see the NOP. NOP, that means there's no probe in, in there. And then, uh, I'm not sure what the 5 means. Or the S, whatever that is. Oh, it's on smoke. That's what that means. I'm sorry. And you can see that the probes are number P, probe 1, probe 2. Now, what we're going to want to do here is we want to make sure that uh, we can feel, and, and, and I can, I can feel that feel that fan running. And then we're gonna give it a couple minutes here. And I can already smell some oil burning. So that means that that hot rod is actually getting hot, but we'll, uh, we'll cheat. And we'll see if we can shoot it here for you. And you can see, yeah, it's, yeah, it's definitely getting hot. So we know that's working. The next thing we wanna wait for, and it takes about a minute or two for the auger the kick in and we'll, we'll see it starting to kick in here soon and uh to save time i'll wait till it kicks in and give you a look see all right and about 10 seconds later it started to run you can see it's it's spinning in the right direction that's important and you can also see it on this side so we know our hot rod is getting hot we know that our auger is turning we know that our uh, our gauge here our, our pid is is working everything is is, is working on it so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the shutdown cycle. And it says off. Now this runs for 10 minutes. And it will just run the blower for 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, it shuts off. So we'll wait for that to go through its cycle. And then we're going to pour some pellets in. All right, folks, talked about it before. This is a 24-pound hopper. Bags of pellet were 20 pounds. So that's 20 pounds in there. Now we're going to fire it up. All right, folks, so, so for the first time, you put it on high. We always start on smoke, but we put it on high because all we're looking to do is get that auger running fast. And once we get pellets going into our uh, into our burn pot, then, then we turn this back to off. Let it go to 10 minutes, and then we're going to then we're gonna fire it up. All right, folks, so now at this point, we're going to do... Actually, I'm leaving all my components up because I want you to see the flames. But you would put everything back in at this point. And uh, I've got to turn the smoke. You always start it on smoke. And you always leave the lid open until, well, until you got fire, or until you got your, your really white smoke goes away. And you, you'll hear you'll hear the fire after a while. You'll hear it you almost sound, sound a little bit like a blowtorch or something like that. So you see the pellets are dropping in there. Got it set at, at smoke. We're going to wait till we get fire so you can see fire. And then we're going to cover things up, and then we're going to take and put it on uh, on high, and just let it go for about 45 minutes to burn all that stuff out of there. All right, folks, where there's smoke, there's fire, and there it is right there. We're going to put all the components of that back in. We're going to set it up to, uh, actually, you know what, I'm going to leave it on smoke for a little bit, just see what it does for temps on smoke. And then I'm going to bump it up to uh, on high and see how hot it gets. I'll show you along the way. Man, she's rip roaring, ain't she? All right, folks, I got to set it on smoke and smoke's a rolling. Well, who says a pellet grill doesn't smoke? Now I've got it on the smoke setting. Smoke setting on um, most pellet grills is right around that 160 mark. 
and this has been right around 160, 165. You see we're going up to 70 there. Uh, we'll take a quick look. I've got two pucks in there that I'm monitoring down. You see this one's 150 and that's 150. So, you know, and our temp probe there measures at the top of the probe. So it's obviously heat rises, so it's gonna be a little warmer up there. So we're just gonna, you see it's dropping down right now. What I'm learning about this grill already is that what I like about it is that the fan never shuts off, which is a good thing because that'll that would allow the pellets in the pot to smolder, and that uh, that gives you kind of like a dirty smoke. And dirty smoke doesn't give you a smoke ring; clean smoke gives you a smoke ring. So what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, <laughs> we're going to turn this up to high and actually do the burn in. All right, before we do, that, let's talk about the controller. So you can see from ways away. That's a nice readout right there. I like that. You can see that from a long ways away. And like I said, the S above it, that means smoke. And then the NLP is no probe, probe one, probe two. Someone was asking, so 165 or 160 is smoke. And then um, 180, 225, and then it goes to 50, 50 degree in increments. Then the high, we don't know what that is, but I'll tell you what. Let's turn it up to high. You hear a fan kick out on high. And uh, let's see how high high is. All right, folks, I, well, I, I really do like that readout. Uh, we've been on high now for about 30 minutes, and 460 uh, or 465 is uh, about what it's going to read. If you're, if you're questioning, it, yeah, it's five degree in increments on the readout there. Let's uh, take a look. I have not opened this to see if the pucks are reading. But uh, about 450 there. 425 over there. As you can see that. So it's a little cool over on that side as opposed to this side, which would make sense. And it has been, uh, it's been running really well. So we, we've got about 20 more minutes to go and we'll give it a shutdown. And you don't need to see all that. But I'll tell you what, folks, this is very impressed so far on the PID controller here on the uh, Z Grill. Hope you enjoyed this. Tom Horseman and YouTube. Leave a comment, thumbs up, and as always, I appreciate you watching. Thank you.